Saving endangered species is not easy. Endangered species are, are endangered for a reason. And the reasons are normally that something's gone dreadfully wrong. The fact that they're endangered is one thing, but when we deal with a situation such as we have with swift foxes, you know that it's you know, about as bad as it can get. Even though there used to be hundreds of thousands of them on our native prairie, the swift fox actually went extinct in this country by 1938. So we want to make a difference, to work with others, to bring the species back, to restore past wrongs, and to help the species survive into the future. Swift fox reintroductions have been going on since the early 1980s. And one of the things that we've been wondering about most is can those populations sustain themselves on their own now? We've taken on a huge challenge to do the largest survey ever of swift foxes in Canada and in the adjunct populations in the United States. We've had teams of two spread across the Canadian prairie and other teams of two in Montana that are monitoring the foxes every night. In general, what we found is that the population has been spreading both in its size and in terms of the number of foxes that are out there. At the same time, in some areas, we've actually seen uh, a lower occurrence of swift foxes. And so that has enabled us to take management actions to actually help the population even more than we have in the past. The swift fox has many many roles and a wide degree of importance, I think, ranging from ecological to almost emotional grounds. And if we lose them, in some ways we lose the integrity of the native prairie species and the native prairie ecosystem. But beyond that, we lose, I think, you know, a very significant part of ourselves. We need to lead by example. And when we do so, it conveys that we will also not stand for the extinction of species in our backyard. We can do this by combining science with action, with the resources of, of those agencies and funders, uh, such as ATB Financial, that make it possible to make sure that we have a legacy here for Albertans, for Canadians, for our youth to cherish into the future. <laughs>